Hi everyone and welcome back to my War Games hobby channel. Alec here. You can see I'm at the club and uh, I'm going to play a game with Steve tonight, one of my buddies. We're playing Lion Rampant, which is a set of rules that I'm sure you know I like them very much. I'm playing Normans, he's playing Anglo-Saxon. And we've just lined up. We're actually doing a scenario from uh, the book. But let me just show you my troops. I've got two units of knights, and you can see where they are. I've got a unit of crossbows in the middle there, a unit of heavy infantry, a unit of um, bowmen, and over here, another unit of javelin men. They're both skirmish units, those two. And Steve has got a unit of bowmen here. Uh, two units of heavy infantry, but they're veterans. Two units of light infantry, and another unit at the end of heavy infantry, they're not veterans. So you've both got 24 points. So it's just a normal a game between two armies, but there's a duel at the beginning. And every hit you score, so let's say I should score three fives and sixes, and then you can use those later on as, a, as an extra attack or an extra shoot. Until, until those three dice have run out. So we're not going to get many dice, extra dice, but a few. So what we've decided to do, we're going to roll one dice each at a time to see whether they're five or six, to see whether they're hit. There we go. Well, I've got my first hit. Your one miss. We'll put that one over there. Yeah. Now we're going to do the next dice. Oh, I missed that one, but you got yours. Next dice. Whoops. Three. I missed again. So did you. Incidentally, if this is a draw, we both die. No, nope, missed again, four. Oh no, I can see what's gonna happen here. Oh good, I got another hit. You didn't, so this is the last dice roll each. I got another hit, oh, and you didn't. Oh, so, three, two to me. Your man dies, so he, he's not a part of that unit anymore. He's, he's been killed. There you go, I'm victorious. You've got two bonus dice to use at some point during the game, and I've got three. So there we are, that's the very first move we've done. My victorious uh, knight will come back to his unit now, and this man will go back into the, um, wherever you want to put your casualties. Sorry about that, Steve. <laughs> Good fun. Right, so what I'm going to do now, because you know I don't uh, record the whole game, it just takes too long. But what I will do is I'll come back every so often and let you know what's happening. I'll try and do it after every move, if I remember. Right, so see you soon. So we started moving up very slowly, as you can see. I had one failed activation for this unit here. That's my leader's unit as well, he hasn't moved. But other than that, everything else has moved. And Steve's moving up as well. He managed to move all of his units last time. But he only need rolls of five to be able to do that with two dice. So it'd be a pretty bad roll if you didn't uh, move most of your troops. Right, back later when things start to happen. Well, as you can see, uh, Steve's moving up. We've had a little bit of shooting. Uh, I shot my crossbows over here, although it was quite a long way away, I was only hitting on five and sixes, I managed to um, kill one of his men here. And then his skirmishes in this wood are just within range of me here. And although um, they normally, because they're skirmishes um, within 12 inches, they get armour of two, but they've got the cover of the wood as well. But you still managed to kill one of those. So we, we both lost a, a man each to shooting. And now he's just about to activate his last unit, which is this one here. Yeah, and they can, you've done that already, yeah. So that one next. And um, he's within range of me now, so at least uh, I can hopefully shoot him next time. So back later when we've uh, got more to tell you. First blood for the Normans. What happened was uh, Steve brought this light infantry up here got quite close to my knights who I have no option I have to try and do a wild charge which I did manage to do they charged in uh, I rolled nine hits on him which means he lost eight or uh, four figures he'd already lost one anyway which means he was minus five on any test 
and then he rolled a really bad test and he's routed off the field completely. I did lose a night going in though, I've taken one casualty. But uh, so first blood to the, to the Normans. Right, so Steve's determined to make my knights pay for wiping out his light infantry and he's charged his heavy infantry yeah. in, into me. So your, light, your, your heavy infantry hit on their attack value is fives, so they're going to be hitting on fives, me, yeah. okay? I'm counter-charging you, mm. so I use my attack value, which is threes. So I'm hitting on threes, you're hitting on fives. Let's put this down there, you can see my roll. I need threes. Ooh, lots of twos there. Four. Although I did still manage to get... There you go. Eight hits on you. Which has this armour of three. I've, I've killed two of your figures. Three of my figures. Oh, you want uh, fives and sixes. I only got three. Right, so it's not enough to kill a figure. No. You've lost two. Yeah. You've got to do a test. I don't because I haven't lost a figure. Yeah. So you have to do a test. So you roll two dice and you want it to be quite high. Although you've only lost, uh, let's line them up. You've only lost two figures there so far. So you, unless you roll really badly here, you should be okay. Just roll two dice, just to see what your test is. Four, not ideal. You get one for him because he's within 12 inches, so you're, you're up to five, but you lose two because you've lost two men from your unit yes. so far, which may, means you're down to three. Your courage is four, yeah. which means you're under your courage, so you have to fall back half a move and you're battered. So it's six, isn't it? No, no, no it's a normal not. move is six inches. So it goes back three, three inches. inches yeah. right. And it's a battered unit. I'll put a little red marker there so we can remember it's battered. Right, so Steve charged me with his light infantry. This is in fact a wood. I've just moved the trees out of the way while I was moving, but that's a wood. My skirmishers, which are here, had to roll to see whether they did an evade move which I did, I needed seven and I rolled a 10, which means I get to shoot at him. Right, so I need sixes now to see whether I um, do any damage. Now look at that, not a single six. <laughs> rubbish, <laughs> absolute rubbish. So I did the first part okay, I managed to evade, but when I shot at you, um, I didn't do very well. Right, so it's my turn. You'll notice my knights have gone charging in here because I was here and um, I have to do a wild charge. Got no, no way of avoiding that. I want to anyway because the unit I want to charge is broken. So they're going to only fight back hitting on sixes. Whereas if my wild charge was, was successful, which it was, I'm hitting on threes. So I should do well here, hopefully. So I'll roll mine in here and I'll take out the ones and twos. There's only three of them, the rest are hit, so I've got nine hits on you. Nice. But you uh, are only hitting on sixes. <laughs> One, it's not that. enough. You, you need four anyway to cause a casualty, so you haven't got any. Now you've got an armour of three, and I've got nine hits on you, so you lose three figures. Yeah. Which means that unit now has seven men left. So you've got a roll to test to see whether it's um, going to go back. I think it might do, unless you roll really well here. Because you've got a minus five at the moment. You've got your leader here, yeah. and he'll add one to your dice roll. Right, so it's a total of seven, but your leader makes it eight. But you've lost five men, yeah. which means you're on three. Yeah. And your courage is, for that unit, is four. Yeah which means it has to go back again. And because it's already battered, yeah. it loses another man. Yeah. So it's all looking very um, dodgy, your, right, your left flank. Because they've got to go back half a move and which they remain three. battered. 
Yeah, that is free, yeah. The only reason Steve lost another man there was because it's a battered unit, and if a battered unit fails a courage test, it has to lose another figure. So, they're looking a bit, um, looking a bit worried over there. My knights are doing the job. Well, you know what knights are like. Yeah. Once they get stuck in, they can do the bizzo. Mind you, you've been unlucky with his dice rolls, but there we are. That's right, so that's my move done. My knights charged in against that unit that only had six men. He didn't cause a casualty on me. I managed to cause three on Steve. So, and he did a bad, well, not a bad test, but because he's lost nine men out of the 12 in that unit, they've now routed. So the right flanks, my right flanks, okay. The left flank of the Anglo-Saxons has collapsed completely. But there's still things happening down here where there, he has the advantage of numbers. And this is where he wants to try and um, win. I've got to try and hold him. Right, so at the moment, it's very much going the Norman way. But will that continue? Who knows? Right, the bad news for the Anglo-Saxons, the unit that was here, which had the unit in it, was opened fire by me with my crossbows, and they, they went down to just seven men, and they did a test and had to fall back broken, and when in next move, when he tried to rally them, um, he had a dismal uh, throw, and they've now routed off the field, and that was with his leader as well, so his leader's gone, so his left flank's completely collapsed, He's still got two units in here, one in the wood and one to the left of the wood, and he's got the skirmishers. But the game looks like it's going to be over very soon, the way it's going. Uh, the Normans are going to be victorious. Well, it's still um, his turn. He's got two more attempts to try and charge me from those units in the wood and the other side of the wood. So it's my turn. Sorry. These have charged in here, and we both lost two figures because you defended well. Well, spear units do defend better than they're, than they're attacking. We both did a test and they were both fine, but because I charged in and I've, we've lost the same amount of men, it's me that has to go back. So now it's me to activate another unit. I've rolled a five, so I failed dismally, yeah. I'm gonna, but I can re-roll one Once, failed one, dice, yeah. so I'm gonna try again. Because your warlord is nearby, is that right? Six, mm. yeah, he's here. I failed again. So in fact, that is my move over. You, you survive another move. Right. Now it's your turn. What do you want to do? What was the best you would have... Oh, better. You're going to charge those and those? Yeah, or are you going to stand there? Because they're heavy, aren't they? Yeah, they are heavy. So Although you, you're, yeah, and you are, you are veterans as well. So yeah, you hit on fours if you charge in. Yeah, so try and activate them to charge them. They activate to charge on a six, so you failed, but, I've got another but you've got another go at that. Yes, it. you do, this time you go in, so in they go. They're very complicated rules, aren't they? <laughs> Don't you dare. <laughs> right, so we've got a melee. Yeah. We both hit on fours. Yeah. Yeah, because you are a veteran, so you, do as well attacking as, as I do defending. So you roll your fours first as you're the attacker. Oh, God. oh it's not the best dice roll two you've hits. done tonight, is it? Yeah, two hits. Two hits. Well, that's not going to be enough because I've got an armour of yeah, three. No. Now I shall roll my, my fours. I'll take out the misses. Oh, that's a bit better, isn't it? That's eight hits on you, which is two figures. Right. You then have to do a test. Yeah. You've lost four from that unit altogether so yeah. far, so it's minus four on your dice roll. So just roll two dice, Steve. Yeah. That's a total of seven. You've lost four, so you're down to three. And your courage for that unit is four, which means it's failed its courage test, which means it has to go back half a move, which is three, which is three inches, which I'll do that for you anyway. And um, it's broken. It's, it's, it's a battered unit. So it's not a disaster, but it's not good either because you're battered now. Right, your next unit, your light yeah, infantry here. Yeah, I'm going to try and charge them in now. You're going to try and charge them again. Go for it. 
Yes, they do. So in they go. This time, unfortunately, though, you're only going to be hitting me on fives. Mm. And I'm hitting you on fours. Right, go for it. You want fives and sixes. Are you going to add your two other dice over there that we got spare from the, the earlier? Yeah, we will so, do. So re-roll two misses. Yes. That's, that's a better one, isn't it? Oh, look at that. So roll your two extra dice, yeah. which are the bonus from our earlier yeah. um, gladi gladiatorial <laughs> fight. They both missed. So you got seven hits on me. I've got an arm of three, so that's two losses for me. Now I'm going to roll my dice. I'm hitting on fours. I'll take out the misses. It's eight. You've got you've only got armour of two, so you lose four men. One, two, three, four, which means that unit now is only seven strong. So you have to roll two dice to do a test, Steve. Yeah. Do that first, then you've got a minus five off this, unfortunately. Well it's a good roll, it's eleven. Uh, minus five is down to six and it's got a courage of four, so it's okay. Oh dear. I rolled five, but I've lost three, so I'm down to, or my leader's nearby, so that becomes six. But I lose three because I've lost three men, which means I'm down to three. My courage is four, so believe it or not, although I killed more of you than you did of me, it's me that has to go back. So I'm withdrawing and I'm battered. You'll be pleased with that. It's the first unit you've batted so far today. So that's that move. The last move you've got are the skirmishers. They're going to fire them. Yeah. Nope. That's, that's it. Okay. So six doesn't count on them. No, you don't, they need a seven to shoot. Okay. So Fine. we'll pause it there. Have a, have a breather. Turn. The first thing I've got to do is these are within charge range of you. I must try and charge you. I've got no choice. Well, Who's charging who, Alex? I, my knights here must charge. Well, I, I've got a choice of who I charge, but I will charge the, the broke, the, the battered unit because they are battered and they're only going to hit back on sixes. I rolled a five. Elite cavalry only need a five to do a wild charge. So they do go in. My four men charge in. Now I roll 12 dice because I'm still over half strength, and so do you, but you only hit on sixes. Are you over half strength? I've got four men out of six, yeah. Over. Six and eight, yeah, I beg your pardon. So you need sixes, and you need at least four of them. I've got three. Three, that's bad luck. So you don't, you don't, you don't lose, you don't get gain any more hits on me. Now I'm rolling 12 dice, but this is the move I'm going to roll my three extra dice in yeah. a minute as well. So these are my 12 attack dice hitting on threes. I'll remove the misses. Oh, there's quite a few misses there. So I've got six hits. Put those to one side. I'm rolling three more. I get one more hit, so it's not going to make that much difference. You've actually got armour of three, so you lose two men. I've got a chance of killing your leader as, well, you know, you didn't kill any of mine, so I've got a chance of killing your leader. I need a double one. No, I failed to get that. So you've got to do a test. You're down to six men now, so roll two dice. Okay, you rolled nine, you get one. F no, your leader's gone, isn't he? Yeah. So you, you're only on three now. Your courage is four, which means you have to go back again, yeah. half move, and because you're already battered, you lose another figure. So take that one off. And then you don't upload the game. I think the game's over, really, isn't it? Because they're battered. Anyway, we'll, we'll keep going. You can put a port. Well, no, I'll, I'll test these. I've got to try and stop them being battered. Yeah, they're all right. Um, 
These will try and shoot over there. They need seven to do that. They do. So 12 dice, hitting on fives and sixes. Ooh. It's six hits, you've got armor of two, so you lose two, you lose three figures. You roll to test them to see whether they, what they do morale wise. So roll two dice, Steve. Well, they rolled six, but they've lost four men, so they're down to two. And as the courage is a five on those, they have to flee, or well, they have to go away and they're battered. So I think the game's over, really, yeah. because you're not going to do anything with what you've got left. Let's see if I can get them in. Victory <laughs> to the Normans. <laughs> I rolled really well tonight, and that, that helps. Though my knights, my, with my leader, stayed on this baseline for three moves. didn't move at all, but when they, this, this one here. So eventually he did move up, but by then the damage had been done. The left flank of the Anglo-Saxons got badly mauled by these knights and these crossbowmen. And then his other infantry came in the middle here and just, uh, I'm afraid, didn't roll well enough to push me back. I lost a few casualties. I've lost a few skirmishes over here. A total of seven men from a un two units at each of six. I use one spearman here and I've lost three, bring those over, I lost three knights. And that's my total loss for the evening and the anglo-saxons lost virtually everything they've got not much left so bad luck steve okay so just a bit of a recap on this game because it was incredibly one-sided i've looked at the game since and of course I, I knew where he'd gone wrong and i just wanted to sort of uh, have a chat with him and, and tell him really what he should have done with that army and which would have made it much more difficult for me it didn't help the fact that he was rolling badly on his dice and i rolled reasonably well but the main problem with the with the army that he had was the anglo-saxons are a defensive army they're not really um, good being aggressive now the reason he went aggressive was because he was concerned about the the fact that I had two skirmish units against his one, I also had crossbow, so I outshot him. So he needed to reduce the distance and get stuck in. But what he should have done was moved up to get quite close and then gone into shield wall, which the Anglo-Saxons can do. And that is very effective because that improves their defensive value by one. So uh, heavy infantry will only kill a figure every four hits against three and line infantry three against two. So that makes a big difference. They also, of course, get their better value for hitting me. They hit on four plus instead of five plus. So spear infantry are much, much better defending. And if they move forward, go into shield wall, and then they can still move half a speed in shield wall. Um, that forces the knights eventually to get within range and they have to do a wild charge. And then it's going to be a pretty much of an even battle. The, the, when, when infantry or when spearmen attack knights, they are not as effective anywhere near. Their armor is less, their attack value is less than their defense value, and they're basically on a, be on the back foot. Whereas if they let the knights charge them, they're going to be not maybe evens, but they're not going to be far from it. They're going to be uh, the heavy infantry that the, with the second unit that went would have been on equal terms armor wise and um, hitting on fours instead of the knights threes. But they have 12 figures against six. So eventually the, the knights will get worn down. So I think Steve now realizes, yeah, he, he did do that wrong. What he should have done was move forward between the hamlet and the wood and with his skirmishes going into the wood to protect his flank, form shield wall there and force me to attack with my knights. Hopefully he would have done better and he could have been more aggressive with the two a veteran a spearman and they could have taken out the rest of my army well it all depends on dice rolls of course as we all know but i certainly think they would have st stood a better chance by doing that we are going to replay this game in a few weeks time he wanted to fight my vikings but he wants to have another go because now he realizes where he went wrong he wants to try it out and i think it'll be a much closer game when that happens i'll let you know and uh, let you know the result Okay, that's it guys. See you again soon.